Forget about computers and the World Wide Web. We're talking books and being worldwide read. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 international fiction authors. That's what they tell me. And you just coolly sit here? For this list, we've looked at any author writing primarily in a language other than English, and especially at those authors who have had their works translated into English. Well, I could sure lighten this ship. The greatest treasures of all, Mr. Land. Mine a sound mind and a full belly. Henceforth, when you're sent for food, don't stoop to pick up pennies. For lists looking more specifically at classic English authors or popular writers, be sure to check out our alternative videos on those topics. As morning hues of sunswept fire caress your passion face, alone with thee, a pure desire to worship untold grace. Number 10, Franz Kafka. Get out of my way. Maybe you wanted some practice in fooling an innocent man. Perhaps you found some amusement in the fact that I seriously expected you to be interested in justice. Born in Prague, fluent in Czech, but predominantly writing in German, Franz Kafka is widely considered one of the most influential authors of the 20th century. I saw it! I, I saw it! I can't stay here any longer. <coughs> The mind behind The Metamorphosis, as well as such notable novels as The Trial and The Castle, created stories filled with psychological difficulties, fraught relationships, and a feeling of existential foreboding. His writing style is so identified with this unique atmosphere that imitators are now described as being Kafka-esque. Not always easy to read, but very well worth it. What the hell's up with that? It's messed up, you know, it's Kafka-esque. Church. Number nine, Miguel de Cervantes. When you were a boy, Sancho Panza, didn't you dream of something better than chopping wood? A life of adventure. To Spain next, and to the writer of what is considered by many to be the cornerstone of modern literature. See their arms waving? Some of that detested race have arms a mile long, but I shall bring them to their knees. In arms, sir, in the shadows of windmills. Cervantes was a playwright and a poet, but he will forever be remembered most as the brain behind Don Quixote, the story of a man intent on rediscovering the ideals of chivalry in an age that scorns such ideals. It is an epic novel that has been translated into more languages than any other book besides the Bible. You shall go alone on your knees, Tredoboso, with all the chains on your shoulders, and you will make humble apology. Without question, Cervantes is Spain's legend of literature. Wake up, Don Quixote. The time for dreams is over. Number eight, Anton Chekhov. Our next writer penned only one legitimate full-length novel, The Shooting Party, but his prodigious output of short stories and his incisive dramas earn him a spot on our list. All day and half of the night, he sits at his desk and he writes. What is he working on? Why doesn't he turn to some magnificent subject like his autobiography? Considered one of the most influential dramatists of the modern theater, his four major plays are produced constantly. His short stories, many of them satirical in tone, are treasured by students of the form. I uh, should draw your attention here to my habit of always carrying a revolver on my person. Chekhov believed that an author should ask questions of his audience rather than answer them, which is perhaps one reason his stories have stood the test of time. Although he lived for just 44 years, his literary legacy has lasted for generations. All my life I wanted to live in town and here I am, ending my life in the country. I wanted to and become an active councillor of state and became one. <laughs> I never wanted that. Number seven, Gustave Flaubert. Charles, Charles, you're the handsomest, most distinguished man in all this world. Where an illustrious literary history is concerned, there are few nations to rival France. And our next author has to be considered as one of the greatest wordsmiths that France has ever produced. I'm going to make you the most beautiful home, like, 
like pictures in magazines when I was a child. Flaubert is ever present on almost any recommended reading list, and with good reason. Love me. Patof, you're frightening me. I'm not frightening you at all. Best known for his novel Madame Bovary, he is recognized as a pioneer realist and an immeasurable influence over modern narratives. A well-known perfectionist ever searching for le mot juste, or the perfect word, one word describes him perfectly. Genius. I will bury my wife in a manner which befits her beauty and her worth and the regard I had for her. Now let me be. Number six, Jules Verne. Phileas Fogg is the most punctual man alive. Well, gentlemen, here I am. We stay en France with our next writer, although he famously led us all around the world within his work. All this was once an island. Although it is now sunk, it is nonetheless fertile. We do our hunting and farming here. On the water? The sea supplies all my wants. Jules Verne has taken us around the world in 80 days, 20,000 leagues under the sea, and on a journey to the center of the earth. In fact, there are very few places that this man hasn't explored. Often considered alongside H.G. Wells as a science fiction pioneer, Verne crossed borders and pushed boundaries unlike anyone else. Here on the ocean floor is the only independence. Here I am free. Number five, Honoré de Balzac. Mais je sais quoi dire sur la mort. La mort c'est rouge et puis c'est bleu. Et puis c'est froid. Et par-dessus tout, ça devient un silence. A literary giant next, and another Frenchman. Balzac wrote during the early 19th century, with the stories and novels collectively called the human comedy considered his magnum opus. Les douze oirs et compalais qui a trafiqué sans fin fortune d'empire, une vie scandaleuse, des maîtresses, des bâtards. Mais l'art de corrompre, l'or à poignée et la science des lois. A depiction of French society during the post-Napoleon period, this work is thought of as one of the most astounding literary feats achieved within the modern world. An inspiration for writers as varied as Edgar Allan Poe, Henry James, and Charles Dickens, Balzac clearly deserves a place of honor on this list. Number four, Alexandre Dumas. The musketeers have finished. Not entirely. There are three. Three. We thought about leaving France, and then we realized that was folly. Dumas is our next continental king of literature, boasting a magnifique bibliography of must-reads. The Count of Monte Cristo and The Three Musketeers are Dumas' defining works. But they are just the tip of the iceberg. Publishing over 100,000 pages, his work encompasses novels and novellas, articles and essays. When it comes to classic European literature, we can think of only three better. Le Comte de Monte Cristo. Non, non, non. Edmond Dantes. Number three, Victor Hugo. Our fifth and final Frenchman, Victor Hugo was one of the foremost artists in the French Romantic movement. A poet first and foremost, he gained huge fame as a novelist and dramatist as he grew older. I dreamed that love would never die. I dreamed 
that God would be forgiving. Les Misérables, now well known from its Broadway musical and film versions, is a masterpiece of literature. The Hunchback of Notre Dame, also adapted into other media, is another classic that enthralls audiences of all eras. Just try to be a little more careful. I, I, I will. By the way, great mask. A royalist turned Republican himself, Hugo expertly captures the page-turning turbulence of 19th century French society. Other writers of his era aspired to obtain his level of quality, and so do writers today. Number two, Fyodor Dostoevsky. I have a great thirst for life, sir. I want to live. I want to be born again. To do that, I must be punished. For without punishment, there is no salvation. We head to Russia for our runner-up, and to a man whose stories stripped down and explored the human mind unlike anyone else's. Where's the money? Where is it? There are 12 silver rubles missing from my books. Where are they? Novels such as Crime and Punishment, The Idiot, and The Brothers Karamazov picked apart the human psyche, getting underneath the skin to reveal the inner lives of his characters. And his 1872 work, Demons, did the same to Russian politics of the time. Oui, la mort de Staline a produit une réelle liberté de recherche, et aussi une fièvre, où certains sont un peu pressés de déclarer philosophie le commentaire idéologique de leur sentiment de libération. A consistently controversial writer, his bold writing earned him many enemies. As a matter of fact, he was moments away from the firing squad in 1849, before a note from the Tsar saved him. A lucky, ludicrously talented guy. Don't call me a saint. I'm only someone who loves you. And you're not a sinner. You didn't do it for yourself. It's no sin to destroy an ugly thing like a, a black beetle. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. What are you doing? Reading your notes. They're encrypted. Please, have some coffee. But so what? Because you don't care about me anymore anyway. Why do you think I don't care about you? Well, you haven't kissed me yet, have you? Number one, Leo Tolstoy. Do you think my husband will make you a present of me? Leave him. Leave him and be your mistress. Yes. We've traversed the globe today, but one Russian follows another, as Leo Tolstoy takes the top spot. There's no doubt about it. Reading Tolstoy's rich, dense novels requires a lengthy commitment. But boy, is it worth it. I do not want to have anything to do with I will her. not have you speak disrespectfully of my mother. War and Peace is often ranked as the greatest novel ever written. Anna Karenina is also often a contender for that accolade, and the extensive back catalog of works by this realist could keep us reading for a lifetime. But it's as if we were part of their own hypocrisy. So cheap, so contemptible. An incredible author, he's received lavish praise from writers as diverse as Anton Chekhov Virginia Woolf and James Joyce. You're like this house. You suffer, you show your wounds, but you stand. Do you agree with our list? No, not the video. Which author do you like to read? Oh, no. You told me what I needed to know. For more worldwide top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Find a new life. Going away.